G'day guys, Sam Plunkett here. Hey, I wanted to talk with you about one of my, my favorite topics, which is oak. So, uh, talk about the size of barrels, like big puppies like this 3,000 litre cast, or little barrels like this one, and also just touch on things like oak stains that give uh, oak character, and you probably heard about oak chips. So the size of the barrel influences how much oak flavour moves from the barrel into the wine. So a big cask, that big 3,000 litre oak cask, per litre of wine, relatively only a, a small surface area of oak. French oak and American oak. Uh, French oak, the grain is much tighter and American oak, a, a broader grain. So you can kind of imagine that that broad grain oak, more wine can seep in, more flavour can get sucked out. And I think with American oak, you can get this uh, stronger, uh, like a coconut flavour. And with French oak, it's much more spicy. When a cooper makes a barrel, they light a fire inside it and it helps them bend the staves, but it also gives this smoky flavour depending on how hot it's been, how hot the fire's been. So, this one is medium toast and TH is toasted heads. So this bit here is, uh, it's the head and it's been toasted. But what does this medium toast bizzo mean? It is just like toast out of your toaster. So, a light toast, not a lot of heat for not a long time. Medium toast is maybe that. And uh, if we open up a brand new barrel and it's heavy toast, it would actually have loads of this dark, kind of uh, dark brown, black looking stuff. I know it's crude to talk about money, but I, I thought I should explain why would we use barrels in some wine, staves which we hang in a tank in another, and chips in some wine? So, barrels are crazy expensive. Maybe uh, $1,000 to $2,000 for a barrel, which adds one or $2 to the cost of a bottle of wine, which is fine for a high-end, fancy $40 bottle of wine. But, something like the Butterfly Effect Shiraz, which is a crackingly good drink, but uh, it just can't afford new barrels. And look, in truth, we don't use a lot of chips. They're really inexpensive, like only at maybe two or three cents to the cost of a bottle of wine. And it gives you the nice, uh, spicy, smoky smell, but a lot of end grain, so the tannin can be a bit grippy. Anyway, inexpensive, pretty flavour. Uh, but I do like staves, and they're made from the same oak as a barrel is made from, but only adds maybe about 10 cents to the cost of a dollar wine. So, we've talked about the flavour that you get from a barrel, we've talked about the tannin that comes from the barrel into the wine, but there's another piece of magic that happens. Think of the wood as like a membrane that's permeable to oxygen. So at a tiny, tiny level, oxygen passes through the wood. It actually goes, for the most part, between the where the staves, where the planks are joined. And that oxygen, it helps things like bitter tannins change their shape. Uh, they turn from short-chain bitter things into bigger, longer things that feel softer. So um, a big barrel like this, uh, it's old enough and it's big enough that it's actually not contributing a lot of oak flavour, but it's letting some oxygen in and uh, helping turn it into a beautiful, plush, soft wine. Cheers, guys.